Did you know your brain might be a quantum machine? Let's dive into quantum brain dynamics, a field tackling the audacious idea that quantum states inside neurons might play a role in consciousness itself. Specifically, this theory focuses on microtubules, these tiny cylindrical protein lattices forming the cellular skeleton inside neurons. They aren't just structural, they might interact with quantum coherence. Stick with me, it's fascinating. Now, why microtubules? Their structure is remarkable. Made of tubulin proteins arranged in a lattice, they might be able to trap and maintain quantum states, acting as a sort of quantum biocomputer. Imagine quantum wave functions collapsing not just at the particle level, but directly influencing cognitive or even emotional processes. Here's where it gets groundbreaking and contentious. Back in the 1990s, physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff proposed the ORCH-OR theory. That's orchestrated objective reduction. In a nutshell, it suggests consciousness arises when quantum collapses, marked by gravity and energy thresholds, occur within the microtubules. These quantum events, they claim, might coordinate at a cellular scale to create unified conscious experiences. It's all theoretical, though. A symphony of math, physics, and biology that's still missing empirical proof. Current research on brain quantum dynamics is building on tools from quantum mechanics, like quantum decoherence models and quantum entanglement studies. Some experiments suggest quantum vibrational energies within microtubules could operate at biologically relevant temperatures, challenging the notion that quantum effects only matter in ultra-cold systems. It could potentially revolutionize not only neuroscience, but also quantum biology and information theory. But skeptics abound. Many argue that decoherence, the tendency of quantum systems to lose coherence in complex, warm environments, would obliterate any fleeting quantum states long before they could impact the cell. Experimental evidence is still sparse, making this a hypothesis poised on the razor's edge between bold discovery and speculative science. What's at stake? If proven, quantum brain dynamics could unify our understanding of mind and matter, bridging quantum mechanics and cognitive neuroscience. Just imagine the implications for neural AI, psychology, and even the philosophy of free will. If this intersection of advanced physics and neuroscience lights you up, subscribe to Hyperfocus. I'm here with short bursts or in-depth dives to skip the pop-sci fluff and get real about science, physics, and tech.